Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to the lecture. So for the same plan, we'll see how the Vastu concept has been applied. Okay. So first try to understand. See, they have given the direction that this is north, south, east and west. So I'll plot the same thing here for our understanding. So I'll write here. This is my north. Okay. Then, okay. This is my north direction. And then this is my south direction north south then this is my east direction okay and this is my west direction okay great other than that if this is my direction it comes out to be southwest this will become my exactly northwest this becomes my exactly north east okay and this becomes my southeast okay this much is understood now First, we'll start from which I'll ask you one row. You just answer me. I see will not apply everything. Uh, let me make it very simple. We'll see main is our master bedroom. I want master bedroom. Then I want my kitchen. I want kitchen. And then I want uh, bath, bathrooms. Uh, then I want puja room. Okay. And then I want entrance. We'll concentrate only on these things. We'll see. There might be some spelling mistake. Okay, wait. Entrance. Puja, bathroom, kitchen. Great. So these are the things what I'm looking for. First, let me start with master bedroom. So what is the best location to have a master bedroom? I told you to write it. Just see your book, what you are written. Southwest is the best part. Now, can you see these people have put a master bedroom here? So this is my southwest. Okay, this is my southwest portion. Again, how is this my southwest portion? You know that now. You have to entirely see. This is the entire building what I have done. Okay, my building is up to here. This is my building. Okay, staircase will take it later. This is my entire building. I have to divide it into nine parts. I'll quickly do it for you so that you get an idea. Okay, so this is part one. Okay, I'll do one thing instead of this part. No, I'll make that nine square so that it is easy for us to understand. So this is my one square. This is my square one. Okay, this is my which direction? Southeast. This much, this much is my south direction. This much is my southwest direction. Okay, then this much is my east direction. Then this is Brahmasthana. This is my west direction. This is my northwest direction. This is my northeast direction and this middle portion we have this as north direction now we are okay with this now we'll try to understand okay where is my master bedroom it should be in north southwest right so you can see this is my southwest agree so i have a master bedroom planned here good coming to the kitchen what is a good place to have a kitchen of course southeast is a good place so can you see this is my southeast this portion is southeast i kept my kitchen it here now Come to the bathroom. Bathroom, I told you can have it in the east or you can have it in the west. West is always good. So you can see there is one bathroom here. Bathroom here. Which portion is that? It, is, it has been kept in the west direction. Now come to the puja. Puja, actually puja room, northeast is good. That is this particular portion is good for puja bedroom. I mean, sorry, puja. If you cannot keep it here, even east is also a good place. So you can see this puja. They have kept it here. And it is in the east place, almost in the east. I mean, close to the southeast. It is in the east portion. This is also okay. Not an issue. Okay. Yeah. Great. And now coming to the other part. Other part, you see here. This is one more bedroom what they have done. Maybe this bedroom, they are going to use it for the guest. Because ma this is master bedroom. This is one more bedroom. Even in the south also, you can have a bedroom. This particular bedroom, they may use it for the kids. Or they may use it for the guest. Again, where is this particular bedroom? Again, it is in the northwest direction. That is why we keep it in the northwest. And I told you, staircase can be kept in the northwest. So you can see this is northwest. Staircase is here. You can keep your staircase in the northwest direction. Got it? Yeah. So whatever I had explained you, everything you can see it here practically. Okay. Now coming to the entrance part. I'll take out everything now. This is no, no more required for us. I'll take out all these things. Okay. Come to the entrance. So where is the entrance? You are making an entrance from here. So always a northeast entry is always a good like this is north. This particular is northeast like this particular region. This is my northeast. Okay. So northeast entry home are always good. So you can see you are making an entry from the northeast. Okay. So why is that so? Because north you have your Jupiter God. I mean Kubera and east you have sun God. Okay. So because of that what we try to uh, try to do. We try to keep it in the northeast direction. 
also and there also you have this jupiter god and because of that reason we keep uh, try to keep the entrance of a home in the northeast direction east is also a good place you can instead of northeast i mean if you don't have a space in the northeast you can even give a entrance of your house from the east direction east is also good because east we have sun planet and sun uh, since we have sun planet uh, we can uh, have our entrance in the east direction because the moment you open your main door the sun rays are going to enter in your home through that what will happen you will have a positive energy so that is why always we say east and northeast are the good place to have your entrance of the home so you can see we have kept our entrance in the northeast direction very simple okay never try to keep the entrance of your ho ho house in the southwest direction because southwest direction we don't uh, allow uh, this thing that is the door i mean main entrance to be in this direction south facing houses are also not good unless you plan it properly so never have a uh, you know main door from the south direction north is good you can have a door in the north north is northeast is always good east is good then you can come for the north okay so this is how it is other than that most of the things whatever we learned you are practically applied it here okay and this was my ground floor plan in this way we have planned it and see you can have your this thing living room and all in the north portion this is almost in the north portion and northeast portion it's a good place to have your living room veranda and all okay and then your this thing what is that uh, dining you have kept it here and it is somewhere in the middle of the home and it is okay okay not an issue you can keep it you can keep your bed uh, this thing dining table here not an issue right main is safe the main always remember you just have to concentrate on four part that is kitchen should be in, always in the southeast your master bedroom should come in the southwest uh, your kids bedroom can come in the northwest and entrance try to keep it in northeast or east if you balance this four four no automatically everything other the other things will get set and as far as possible try to keep your bathroom in the west direction got it great so i hope you have enjoyed my lecture up to here and uh, other than that the next floor also remains this is this was only for one floor right ground floor plan we had and rest all things are very similar to that okay yeah so i hope you have enjoyed my lecture up to here we'll see you back in the next lecture thank you